Now the sun, speaking of which, mm -hmm. can make you a little bit darker. Exfoliation may make you a little bit lighter, but what do you do when your skin starts to drastically change color without any explanation? Well, our next guest, Rebecca, was desperate for answers. We sent her to Dr. Lee. About two years ago, I laid out in the sun and I didn't put sunblock on. So since then, I noticed that spots have been forming on my skin and they've been spreading throughout my shoulders and a little bit down my arms. I'm about to see Dr. Lee. I'm super excited for my consultation. Hi, hey. how are you? Nice how are you? you? Oh, it's nice goodness. to meet you Thank too. You. Well, let's take a look at you now, okay? Okay, right. Let's All go right. on into the room. And how long has this been going on? Um, I noticed this a little over two years ago. You noticed some dark spots? Is that what happened? No, or I white noticed spots? the white spots. The white okay, spots so like sure. it came out first with this sort of thing, these little white spots here. Has it been tough for you to hide them? Yeah, I can't really wear the summer dresses or even a shirt like this because when someone takes a picture of me, you can clearly see it. I hear you're, you're engaged, is yes. that correct? Okay, yeah. and do you know what you're gonna wear? No, not yet, but I know when I do get one, I wanna to be the spaghetti strap showing my shoulders. So let's see if we can't get you in that spaghetti strap dress so you're gonna look gorgeous. Okay, okay. we're gonna do some tests today that are gonna help us to figure out what this is. This is the black light and it helps us as dermatologists to determine pigment in the skin. And I'm just trying to look around here for some of the scaling areas. Sometimes we can see some things what we call fluoresce too. And that gives us an idea too. Certain bacteria on the skin might do that. Very interesting. I think I know what it is, but let me do one more test, all right? So there's a little scale here and I'm just gonna scratch. I'm gonna try to bring up some of that scale and put it on this glass slide. Okay. I'm going to take a look at this under the microscope, all right? Okay. Oh my. I do think we have a diagnosis here. Rebecca joins us, and Rebecca, we're just gonna cut to the chase here. Okay. Yes, well, I have really good news because okay. this is something called tinea versicolor, yeah. and okay. this is actually a yeast that grows on all of our skin. All of us have it, okay. but just in some of us, it might grow a little bit out of control, especially in humid environments on oily parts of the skin. And so, because it's a yeast, all I have to do is give you a prescription antifungal medication. So what oh, I'm gonna God. do is I'm actually gonna give you some pills that you take. And okay. what's so interesting about it is it's actually excreted in your sweat. So what you wanna do is when you take it, 30 minutes later, you actually wanna exercise. Okay. Because when you do that, the sweat comes out in your skin, it's exactly where we want it. So we okay. can treat the area, okay? okay? So that's what you're gonna do. But the other thing that you can do is you can actually get something over the counter, a, a dandruff shampoo, something with selenium sulfide. Okay. Because that can actually clear off the yeast from your skin. So if you take a shower with it, maybe daily for a week and then weekly thereafter, because this is something that can come back, okay? It can okay. come and go. And also know, one thing I wanna warn you is that this discoloration is something that will take a little longer to go away. Okay. So wear your sunscreen in the meantime, but I think you'll be cleared up in probably in a couple weeks. That sounds okay. amazing. So, so tell us how that makes you feel about that. Oh. Soon too. Thank so you. Nice. Thank you guys so much. This means so much to me. And Rebecca, I have to say thank you. I know you're a, a big fan of the show, and we are just so happy that we could be a part with Dr. Lee and helping make this diagnosis. I don't miss for a you. day, even if it's a repeat. Yeah. <laughs> I watch it every day. Well, now you get to watch yourself. So <laughs> yes. thank you, Rebecca. Thank you Best so of much. luck.